<clears throat> in science and technology, there is a teacher, whilst in conventional wisdom, there is no teacher. You welcome to another video. Good morning. Subahulhir, Kualafia, Ekaro. Good morning. Daswa. Ansuma, Nyumumachi. In this episode, we begin with uh, 16. We will begin with January 16, 2024. It was a Tuesday. <clears throat> I had 59 cities, zero persuasions uh, in my, no, sorry, sorry, as my job money, as money available for me to use for the day <clears throat> onwards. <clears throat> And uh, I think this is the this was the day I went to a second typist. I was shown by one also for my B to a second typist to do my work for me, which even hasn't come out yet for lack of money. And she's called uh, Angela or Angie. Mm -hmm. And it was funny. Well, I don't know whether to describe it as funny or not. You take your work to somebody and they are not paying attention to it. First of all, she has a television in front of her. Then she's operating her phone. Then she's talking. All at the same time. Oh, uh, television in front, phone, manipulating the phone and talking at the same time then looking at typing at my, uh, looking at my work and typing you know things are not going to be correct so i had to correct and correct and correct what do i see the typing pool is hers and i went there somebody told me to go there mm -hmm. and the funny thing is that when you go and i went there was nobody with her as soon as we enter people start coming some for work some just to chat and waste your time yes and so I, I had to bear it. So it looks like anywhere you go, that's the attitude of the Ghanaian. Here, I'll praise Nigerians. Nigerians generally, they don't do that. You see? OK. Uh, so I have a phone number here, which I should not. Uh, Okay, now let me give it. I wrote it down. 0244 0244161190. Because someday I may need it. I may throw away this book somewhere and need it. Mm? Or if you like, 233 In case I lose a phone number or my phone itself. Okay, then I went some rounds. Uh, this time I was staying at uh, Boko Achuman after Sofu Line from Kumasi. That's oh, beyond Sofu Line, Kumasi, and even beyond Kwadaso from Kumasi. Uh, I made sales of 20 cities that day. I have a phone number here for a name called Oura. I don't know. Uh, and then Abna. Okay, Abna, I remember. But Ura, I don't remember. Then some latte or something. Anyway, they are not very necessary. Hmm? <clears throat> I think these are people that I shared a video on on the, the video on the childless mothers, those who needed children and found it difficult, of a psychic, and it was of a psychic I called from a paper around 1995 or so, 
and I posted them to, to them inside the numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, and I spent 40 CD 60 pesos that day. We go to Wednesday, December 17, I had 40 CDs, 20 pesos left. Remember, I sold pamphlets for 20 CDs. Yeah? Am I right? Uh, yeah, I sold pamphlets for 20 cities. <clears throat> so Wednesday, I had 40 pesos, 20 I had 40 cities, 20 pesos left. As my chopman, I beg your pardon. And uh, I spent zero zero that Wednesday. I suppose I had a rest. <clears throat> Then I had a dream of death coming out of wound in my leg. I woke for 4.38 a.m. So, uh, and I suppose it was for me to see my Fajr prayer. That's what normally happens. Then there was power failure before 4.38. In other words, I woke up to meet power failure. And it lasted to... 8 50 a.m. I bought my anti malaria medicine, Alpha. Oh my god. Then, how come I I spent zero that day? No, 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 no. I didn't buy the Alpha that day. I think I started using it that day. Yes, I started using it that day. I didn't buy it. I bought it sometime earlier and started using it that day. Uh, we go to January 18, it was a Thursday, and so as, because I spent nothing the previous day, I still had 40 CDs, uh, 20 pesos left. <clears throat> and, uh, 40 CDs, 20 pesos left on Thursday, January 18. Mm. I didn't state how much I spent that day. Uh, and even the following day, Friday, it, it doesn't look like I stated how much I had to spend. I think rather I had 15 CDs here spent, but that was for Friday, January 19. But that Thursday, when I had 40 CDs, I didn't state how much I spent. So I suppose I spent 21 CDs without recording it. Suppose I spent 21 CDs without recording it. All right, let's go. Let's go on. Okay, so that Friday, January 19th, I spent 15 CDs. Hmm? But Thursday, the expenditure, my expenses were not, was not recorded. But then I had one, 50 CDs paid to me, or paid to the court for me by Latifa, my former landlady, stubborn landlady. So do I put 21 CDs here? Uh, we go to Saturday, January 20th, and I had 181 CDs, 30 pesos. It looks like it's not only the 
the 150 CD I got from the, the Latifa page with the code was not the only money I got. Otherwise, I, have, I couldn't have gotten one. Okay, it could be possible. In any case, that's already first. Uh, that's already uh, January 20th. I had 182 CDs, 30 pesos left, and I spent again 15 CDs like the previous day. Then Sunday, I had 167 CDs, 30 pesos left as my chop money. And that was Sunday. Sundays, I normally spend nothing. Let me see here. But I spent 10 CDs that day. I bought only bread. I bought only bread. And I don't think I went out. No, I didn't go out. I bought it within the compound that I stay. Bought it from within the compound. Uh, <clears throat> we go to Monday, January 22. And I had 157 CDs, 30 pesos. I spent 67 CDs. I started with 157 CDs, 30 pesos. I went to a number of places. I went to a number of places. A place called Silium. That day I had a free ride by a prospective landlord called Joe. He gave me free ride to a place called Silion. I walked to Imam Academy, then to Methodist Community, then to Great Omas, where Madame Hannah was there, or at, at a, is still at the present time, the religious a moral education teacher. She was good to me. Then from there, I took a car to Sofo Line. Yes, about two minutes drives. I didn't realize it. And the driver extended to not to Sofo Line. Then I went to <coughs> Kumasi to Agi the typist. Then to Mensa the printer. And back to Agi, the typist, and to Kejitia. Then, I fear Madame Vida. Uh -huh. I met Madame Vida of Konongo, uh, where I used to say habit, habitat. I met her somewhere on the way. She went for her punching money, and she was happy I met her, and she knew I didn't have any pension. Mm. Surprisingly, she gave me 20 CDs. Mm. I also gave her a pam one of my pamphlets. Then, I paid 100 I don't know whether I paid 100 CDs to Dr. Mensah. I see here, uh, to Mensah Printer, Mensah Printer, 100 CDs. I suppose I paid 100 CDs to him. But then, my expenditure was still 67. So I don't know what that means. Mm. I don't know whether I paid 100 CDs to him or was to pay. Or I forgot to add it to the expenditure of that day. Mm -hmm. But then I made sales of 73 CDs, <coughs> zero pesos that day. We go, to, we go to Tuesday, January 23rd. I had 183 CDs, 30 pesos as my shop money. And... Uh, I spent 15 CDs, 50 pesos. Mm. Then I went to Young Brilliant Generation. Monday, I wrote here Monday, Great Omas. That's Madame Hannah's place. Then Young Brilliant Generation. Then Supreme Savior. I created it. I worked. Mm. Young Brilliant Generation, I think I paid a car. I paid for my transport. Then I went to Abasi. Then to Kajitia, to airport police. Hmm. About my matter concerning Musa. One Musa, a Muslim, who deliberately 
calls himself Moses and is known as Moses all over the place. Eh? For people to think he's a Christian and he's very wayward. He's born in the name of Christians. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> I also have here, no, I think that's all. I sold only one little pamphlet for five cities. Muslim names and their meanings. And I spent in in all 15 cities, 50 pesos that day. We go to January 24, which was Wednesday, and I began with one, 73 cities, 00, zero pesos. I spent 40 cities that day. Okay, I, I, I put it in my wallet. Mm -hmm. So uh, I didn't buy anything physically, but I rather deposit it in my wallet. But I think I've got 21 CDs from one Mahabana, yes, as I've written here, Mahabana in Accra. Mm -hmm. She heard of my video concerning childlessness and she gave me 21 CDs to send to her. I think I asked her to give me something small so I could buy data to send her. And she gave me 21 series. I recorded here. Pardon me if I did the wrong thing, but I didn't have money. And I didn't ask for 21 specifically. Mm -hmm. In any case, I honored the contract. I gave it to her. And she was thankful. We're now waiting to see if God will be behind us for her to be pregnant. Mm -hmm. I'm yet to find out. Now, we go to Thursday, January 25th. And uh, I've recorded here. I've recorded here one plus one, which means I had two cities as my chalk money. I hope that's the case. But then I had a dream that day. What can I read? Let's see if I can get everything clear. I buy I think I buy and the dream in the dream I buy anti malaria medicine. I walk with a woman to a period hospital with a baby. Commotion behind S. A young man already with a wounded mouth. Slapped, slapped and beaten to near death. His intended host came out of the house nearby and took him away. I woke 3.59 a.m. by my alarm clock. By my alarm, yeah, by my alarm. And I wrote here watch. So seemingly useless but then it woke me at my usual time mm -hmm. so i can uh, do my fajr i can uh, perform my fajr prayer probably plus tajud either i had prayed tajud and slept again or i was too late and had to do the two together then I have here okay yeah then after that that was when I went to Kajitia I walked to Abbasi Junction at uh, 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 Achimaboku and took a car to public transport to Kajitia for five cities then I went to airport police for Paying uh, uh, airport police, airport runabout police, paying three cities. I took, I uh, hired a car and went to the house of Moses. And that's Musa, a dubious person. He never knew I, had, I knew the house. And I didn't know it. Somebody informed me because they knew him to be a dubious person. He was surprised he wasn't there. 
Eh? The wives were there. Her wife and her friends were there. And I narrated the story to them. The wife knelt down before me and was begging uh, to be patient. They will pay. After one week, they didn't pay. And so that's the first time I met. I went there, sorry. Then that day, uh, Thursday, 25th January, I went there with the police, surprisingly. Again, they say he wasn't there. He could have, he could have been inside. The police said, well, I shouldn't mind. They, will, they know the place. They can track her. But apparently, the police were too busy. Mm. As soon as I left, when he came, he was told. He rushed to the police station and deposited, and deposited 100 CDs as part payment. <laughs> he says he has to pay me 200, and I say 300. But along the line, the police, the police rather tried to understand him, and I said, okay, you should pay the 200. And up to now, that was from 25th January to this video is made. Uh, he hasn't paid it. I don't know what happens next. And that's his character. Uh, told by the fellow who showed me the house. Uh, and he calls himself a Muslim. And the sad thing is that instead of him using the Muslim name, he went to use a Christian name. So people will think that this is a Christian doing it. And it's not a Christian. It's a Muslim. You see how treacherous people can be. Uh, okay, yes, after begging, after negotiation and me begging, the taxi driver agreed to take 30 cities for me. And uh, there was power failure that night. Uh, and uh, it stopped at around 10 p.m. I don't know when it started. I might have slept. Mm, and I wrote here whether Hamatan is back. Uh, uh, January is too... Uh, uh, yes, yes. January, whether Hamatan is back. It's not too early. That's around the time. It's in the north that it starts around November, December, something like that, or October, November, December, towards the last quarter of the year. But then in the south year, it became hazy and... Uh, I record, I question whether my Amatan is back. But then that day I spent 50 cities, 50 pesos. Uh, and that was that's the January 1st, January 21st, sorry. I'm sorry, that was Thursday, January 25th. Mm. Uh, so I think we shall pause here. When we come back, we will go to Friday, uh, January 26th. Uh, so, viewers, as usual, I have to thank you for lending me your attention. May God bless you all. Bye-bye. Au revoir.